Welcome viewer to our video on the Brave Castle BCR1 ecosystem with the all new Cat Barf. This is an American designed and American manufactured chess rig. It's designed by Brave Castle in Oregon and manufactured by First Spear in Missouri. This does have the proprietary First Spear tubes. The tubes that made them famous. Yeah. And First Spear tubes are a great addition to any play carrier. I know I prefer it greatly to lifting the placard and throwing Velcro. Oh, there's no comparison. It's just antiquated. Yeah, it, it's by far the easiest and fastest way to don and doff a rig. Yeah. yeah. This is actually the perfect cummerbund upgrade kit. It uses standard swift clips to attach your placard to the front, which has your male side of the first spear tube, and your cummerbund with the female side of the first spear tube attaches in the rear with a Velcro panel. Once you set your size, it stays the same every time, which is fantastic. Yeah. You can accommodate a variety of different layouts using the shingle system. By opening your placard, and stacking different kinds of shingles, whether it's a triple rifle, a dual heavy rifle for 7.62, or a quad pistol for those 9mm SMG guys out there. You can really adapt it to anything you need. In standard configuration, it will hold seven magazines, utilizing two elastic pouches on each side and the shingle in the front, expanding up to 10 Stanag magazines with dual shingles. Yeah. Incredibly impressive carrying capacity for such a lightweight and slick chest rig. Absolutely, and it holds the weight very comfortably. It absolutely does. It, it, it is sturdy. It, it's sturdy, it really distributes that load. I think where a lot of lightweight chest rigs fall short is they're awkward in terms of load distribution. If you've yeah. got an X harness and a simple nylon, one piece nylon rig up front, it tends to really hang on your neck. It can cause chafing. This is all integrated into the loop that is your cummerbund. Mm -hmm. It squeezes the magazines gently against your body. The rear panel sits just above the place where lumbar support would be on a heavy backpack, and the straps fit nicely underneath. Because it distributes the load so well, it feels great, especially under movement. Mm -hmm. So in dynamic situations where you're, you're moving around where a, a normal lightweight rig would be flopping. It doesn't slop. It doesn't slap around your body or move or chafe your torso at all. It feels very secure when it's adjusted properly. You could fit this under a windbreaker with mm -hmm. seven standard capacity magazines. And if you need more capacity, you can double up on this shingle and have 10 magazines. You sure can. All of these shingles interact in the same way. Female Velcro on the front, male Velcro on the back. Boy, you can do a lot with these. Mix and match with any of the available Brave Castle shingles and most shingles available on the market. You can insert tourniquet holders, um, admin pouch danglers. You can throw in dump pouches. You can mix multiple of them together. It's an incredibly versatile rig. So sure not is. only is it compatible with components from other manufacturers, but the whole thing is made up of seven components that can easily be swapped out if you damage or tear part of the rig. So if you're someone who puts yeah. your gear through hard use, you can replace either side of the cummerbund. Each one of these X-harness straps, which do have moly webbing, which is nice for cable management, by the way. You can replace your front placard, and obviously the shingles come out. Another note, just to touch on these shingles, these are amazing because they are elastic, but there is female Velcro that wraps around the inside of the shingle. So you have that retention of an elastic shingle, but you also have the structural support of that Velcro. Yeah. So what you get is you get a shingle that stays open just enough to make re-indexing easy, but is also gonna hold your mags in. The best way to get uh, the pouch to hang open a bit for easy indexing is to insert the shingle into the placard with the mags already in it. That's gonna give you the wanted effect of a held open mag pouch. It's really the perfect balance between retention yeah. and ease of re-indexing. It sure is. For those of us that can't afford to be dropping mags, looking at medical very briefly, there is a medical pouch on the back right side of that cummerbund. In here, I have a spider pouch for some basic gauze and such, but Brave Castle does offer an enclosed medical pouch that will Velcro on in that same position. Since we're talking medical, let's look at the cat barf. It is a great way to carry an extra tourniquet. It has one-handed opening 
and it dangles in tourniquet right there for you to put your arm through. It beats the heck out of the traditional danglers where you would have to remove your tourniquet, open it, and then put it on. Yep. So let's say one of your arms is injured or got shot in the hand or having issues with your fingers. You can just rock that arm right through. Easy money. Ask a corpsman what to do. Probably don't get shot. <laughs> you should leave. If you're getting shot, you should leave. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of getting shot at wearing these, most of us are not professionals. If you are a professional, it could be a great option for you. At the end of the day, the BCR-1 is a sensible rig for sensible shooters. Folks that are wanting to take their training seriously, but also understand that the needs of an individual on a flat range are going to be very different from a professional overseas. You are not carrying enough magazines to invade your preferred third world country. What you are doing is carrying your daily range load in a very comfortable platform that you can wear all day. And if you find yourself in a sticky survival situation, you'll have plenty of magazines to make that work. You sure will. It's also nice because it's slick enough that you can easily hide this under a windbreaker or sure even can. a hoodie. I think if we had to take our two favorite things away from it, combined. The modularity and the fact that this X harness does not dig into your neck at all. It sits comfortably on your shoulders. The rig feels secure around your torso. It just hugs you perfectly when it's adjusted right. I like everything about it. Yeah, we've sweated through them. We'll sweat some more. We'll put some ice cold beers in it. <laughs> Thanks for watching our overview of the Brave Castle BCR1 ecosystem with Cat Barf. Check out bravecastle.com for inventory. Turn on email notifications if you don't see your favorite configuration in stock. Also, if they are out of stock, you can't mm. find them anywhere, check out Tag Firearms. They occasionally stock them and they might have some. Do not miss out on these high quality American manufactured chess rigs from Brave Castle. Thanks for watching. And if you don't wear Brave Castle, then fuck, fuck you. you. Today we're gonna to talk about the BCR-1 and why Japan is so into tentacles. Today we're gonna to talk about the BCR-1 <laughs> and why owning one suppressor is not enough. Today we're gonna to talk about the BCR-1. It's an all American made micro chess rig with seven individual components. Today we're gonna to talk about why they call me a faucet. The way I be leaking shit that I shouldn't. This is the new 556 suppressor from Energy.